place. And today we're going to stay here in New York City. We're going to uh, speak uh, about the, the street vendors. We am uh, uh, with uh, Matt from the Urban Justice Center, and uh, we is, is responsible of the street vendor projects. Matt, welcome to Face to Face. Thank you for having me. So tell us the story. What what do you do all day? What what is your uh, what is your uh, activities, your uh, action in New York? So uh, I work at the Street Vendor Project, as you said, and mm -hmm. we function like a union okay. for all of the people that you see out there selling from carts or trucks or tables or shopping carts. And we organize vendors all around the city to build more power and mm -hmm. get the laws and policies changed. Mm -hmm. uh, and we also provide legal services and small business services for folks that are our members. OK, so it's, you are very busy because <laughs> we see a lot of people in different places. Yes, that's true. The number is getting the number getting higher? Do you have more people now than you were bef before, or um, something has changed? Well, uh, the, the members of our organization, gradually we get more and more members yeah, every year. That I understand. The number of street vendors in New York City, it, it might increase a little bit, but it's tough because of the licensing and permitting. Yeah. So the number of licensed and permitted vendors doesn't change. Okay. But you have some vendors that are selling artwork and other things that you don't need a you license need for. License, yeah. So those numbers could grow. Uh -huh. And also there are some vendors that you know, unfortunately can't get a license or a permit, so they do it without one. They okay. take a risk. Yeah. And those numbers can also grow. Uh -huh. But I mean, like a like few years ago, like the, it was fashion to eat. So it's like a new trend of restaurants starting on the truck and then getting very famous. I mean, it's like... No, something is happening. Uh, well, there. I think within the past five or ten years, you've seen a new uh, popularity yeah. uh, when it comes to street food. Yeah. Uh, but there's always been street food. Okay. People have always been selling food okay. on the street, and regardless of whether it's trendy or not, uh -huh. um, uh, there's always been uh, folks that are selling food from carts or trucks. Now, uh, within the past five or so years, you've seen a, a, a resurgence of more high-end food trucks, I would say. Uh -huh. um, you know, uh, sort of people selling more upscale yeah. uh, food. Like Wall Street lunch and so on. Yeah, people. sure. Yeah. And mm -hmm. we've seen that all around the country. Yeah. Uh, so that's definitely been a trend. OK. Now, on the other side, um, you have very complicated situation for many people. In, in I, I was very active in Jackson High. Mm -hmm. and, and many street vendors were persecuted by the police all the time, mm -hmm. uh, tried to, uh, to make a living. So how do you what, what how do you intervene? Well, what what is what is the, the step there? So the number one problems that vendors face is the lack of licenses and permits. So mm -hmm. many vendors in Jackson Heights and Corona, for example, uh, they may be selling food, but they don't have a permit yeah. uh, because the city stopped issuing new permits in 1983. Wow. And that's the big problem, because if you sell food without a permit, then yeah. you can be arrested. Mm -hmm. You can have your stuff taken by the police. Yeah. Uh, you can get a thousand dollar fine. Mm -hmm. So what the organization is trying to do is trying to convince the city to issue new permits. I mean, it's been more than 30 years, uh, and no new permits have been issued. And so, but why? What, what, I mean, there's no council member who are getting involved, who are, uh, it, it's, I mean, the, the problem is people don't vote also, so it, they are not very politically uh, powerful. The problem uh, that we've seen is that there's a small but very powerful group of special interests yeah. in New York City that have been traditionally opposed to street vendors. Uh -huh. uh, the real estate industry, the business improvement districts, they have a lot of power and they don't like vendors. We they never have. The bid, yeah. yeah, so um, uh, th there was a big push, especially at the end of last year, to get a new law passed mm -hmm. that would increase the number of permits. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, it was killed and we believe uh, with the help of these special interest groups. Mm -hmm. So, so earlier we talk, we offline we were talking about the bid with with also a big uh, issue in New York because every neighborhood now are more or less this improvement district. Right. Uh, it's another word to say we're going to control exactly what's happening on the street yeah. and 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 clean it. So um, and that's really a, a problem for the street vendors. Uh, that's right. So when you have these business improvement districts that are created, they're essentially privatizing many of the services and many of the things that are happening in the public space. Mm -hmm. So if we remember, the business improvement districts are controlled by their property owners. Exactly. So, you know, the property owners have their property, but they also like to control what happens in front of their property in the public space. Well, because it, it's... It 
it, it defines the value of the property. Sure. So, so if, so if you have a you know a high priced building or a fancy building, maybe you don't want the immigrant street vendor selling in front mm -hmm. of your building. Mm -hmm. So they often you know sort of use their power mm -hmm. uh, and use their influence to kick out vendors mm -hmm. within their districts. Mm -hmm. And and we talk also um, about this. Uh, this big market set up during Christmas and and and, uh, and the holidays, like in Brain Park. And sure, and so on and so it's forth. it's interesting when we think about it because business improvement districts and and those folks they actually like vendors, but they like their kind of vendors mm -hmm. and they like to profit off of it. Mm -hmm. So when you have these all these markets that some of them are actually happening in public space in Bryant Park, for example, no, in no, the plazas and, and the price are. No, the, you can't. You is thirty thousand dollars for uh, six weeks, yeah. For a booth of ten by ten, I mean, yeah. it, it, it's absolutely uh, crazy. So obviously, those spots are for a different kind of vendor than that has traditionally existed in New York. Uh, the halal cart vendor cannot pay thirty thousand dollars for six weeks to sell. So they're getting you know more upscale, more gourmet. Uh, Vendors that are yeah, catering. Yeah, but what is the advantage for the city to let something like this happen? I mean, it, it's well, the city doesn't the city gain. Uh, the business improvement districts are making a lot of money oh, yeah, off of it. So sure. I think money is is the uh, uh, is the impetus. And mm -hmm. I also think you know it's it's an attraction for some people. Mm -hmm. Some people of certain classes really like that. And mm -hmm. you know, I don't think there's anything wrong with having holiday markets or. Or, uh, no, or, no, no, or markets, but it should be open to everyone, not just people that can afford thirty thousand dollars a month. And it should help month. also people who are starting, you know, in one, because it's it's also a starting point for many people to yeah. develop their business. So it, it could be a good space to, uh, to 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 test and 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 find product and so on and so forth. So exactly. I think the city should have, in some way, uh, incubators of of small business and and the street. Part could be very interesting. Exactly, yeah. They could make spots available in these markets for all people and, and not just have sorting a bidding war mm -hmm. for the highest paying bids. Mm -hmm. So, um, but legally, how do you challenge the city or how, how you, you, that's a. It's very difficult. So I was saying, uh, you know, uh, for the past couple of years, we've been trying to get the city to change the law mm -hmm. that would issue more permits. So in 1983, they made a law saying no more permits can be issued. Mm -hmm. So just like they made the law, they can, the city council can change the law. And we had uh, 19 city council members co-sponsor this legislation. Mm -hmm. um, and it was almost brought to a vote. Um, but unfortunately, at the end, uh, the mayor uh, killed the bill with, we think, uh, the influence of these special real estate mm -hmm. interests. How can we uh, push him? How can we? Uh, <laughs> do, you have, uh, do you have a campaign you is running now? Yeah, or, or we're, well, you know, the mayor has a radio show every Friday. He no. does town halls around the city. Anytime he is asked about the street vendor permit issue, he always says, we're working on it, we're working on it. It's been over a year now, and, uh, and nothing's happened. So any chance that someone can tell the mayor, uh, you know, to push him on this issue is really important. And also, you know, speak up if you're a local council member. Mm -hmm. uh, they also have the power mm -hmm. uh, to revive this campaign, mm -hmm. and we hope that they will soon. Mm -hmm. So, um, so t t what, what will be uh, the best case scenario if, if, if you had to, to make a proposal uh, for New York City yeah. now, and 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 I will expand it not only in Manhattan, but I will say for Brooklyn and the Bronx, yeah. and, and because I think it, it's a very interesting uh, uh, type of economy who is very flexible, who can adapt, who can who can really uh, and help the you know the poorest community in, in New York because it's really where the people are. Yeah. Means it's, uh... So the, the best case scenario would be to increase the number of permits for food vendors and licenses for general vendors to mm -hmm. allow people the chance to start small businesses mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. on the streets, right? Like you said, this would be an incubation program. Mm -hmm. And the city is always trying to say, or they say they're always trying to encourage small businesses. But when it comes to vending, they don't do it because you can't legally do it. Right, it's really difficult. So the proposal that we had in the city council would have gradually increased the number of permits okay. over a period of eight years. So we think that's a good idea, that's right? Good idea. Uh, add a certain number of mm -hmm. permits every year mm -hmm. to allow the city to adjust mm -hmm. and also ease some of the restrictions, right? There's many, many restrictions of where vendors can and cannot go. Um, 
hundreds of streets are off limits yeah. completely to vendors, yeah. even though there yeah. might be plenty of room there. Fifth Avenue is sure. one of them. <laughs> sure. So it, we know why and those streets <laughs> are oh. off limits, uh, because this, those course. same business improvement no, districts exactly. lobbied yeah. To, yeah. to close those streets. Yeah. So we want the city to expand opportunities mm -hmm. for vendors, mm -hmm. uh, issuing more permits and licenses, and also allowing more space for them to work on the street. Mm -hmm. And um, and for the Urban Justice Center, uh, wh how do you, how at the larger organization, mm -hmm. how does this project fit in? It's so the Urban Justice Center is sort of like a cooperative uh, nonprofit okay. that has, I think, 11 or 12 different projects that are all working on different issues, uh -huh. uh, primarily in New York City. Okay. So uh, each project functions a little bit like its own mini organization, but we all share the space. Uh, under the Urban Justice Center. Okay. Um, so all we do is work completely with street vendors, and there's all these other great projects that are working with other populations, mostly marginalized populations in New York. Yeah. Any any specific information you want to share? Any shot you want to yeah, make? Well, any... well, yeah, I hope that people can just uh, realize that the street vendors in New York are really struggling because mm -hmm. the city makes it really difficult for them. Mm -hmm. And any chance folks have to call their council member or talk to the mayor, which I know is difficult, uh, they should say to uh, you know issue more permits uh, for vendors. Okay, thank you very much for yeah. coming to. Thank you for having me. That was face to face. Thank you very much for watching, and please keep. Uh, watching your news on Presenza.com, and we hope to see you very soon.